Hey guys, it's uh, Double Winning, and today I'm bringing you a Rise full gameplay. Um, I haven't played a whole lot of games of Rise. I've played maybe 10, 15 in the past couple months. Um, but I got the Professor Rise skin, which is really cool. And um, I think in this game I went 9-0-21. I don't really recommend that. Um, I, I like going 9-21 instead. Um, but uh, that's why I did this game. So we have an Alistar so, and Blitzcrank, so it's basically like Screams invading, and they're Twitch disconnected, so easy blue buff for Alistar. Um, a quick little note, two things. One, I won't be continuing my Dark Souls walkthrough uh, Let's Play. Um, I had some problems. I had played through about an hour and a half, had two more episodes, and um, all the live commentary. Um, it didn't work because there was a bunch of background noise and I I don't really like I die a lot in that game so I don't think it's a really great idea um, to do a walkthrough on it or a let's play you know kind of thing because it's just me kind of dying and that's kind of boring I, I would much rather do a game that I either was a bit easier so I didn't just make a fool of myself and like you guys just got bored because you just kept watching me die or um, a game that I have more so right here, Jungle Stairs comes in for the gank. I throw down the ignite to try and maybe secure the kill, but he fails the combo and I flash away like a pussy because I thought the creep aggro might suddenly increase in damage and I would die. Um, we actually didn't get the Oriana kill and Alistar chased for a really, really long time and he barely gets away from Twitch there. Um, so I'm just fast forwarding through the boring parts, you know, just the farming and all that. Um, and. Uh, so that kind of kind of went bad. I used both my summoners. We didn't get the kill, and so Oriana's about to come back to lane. And I have half health, and she has full health because she went B. Um, so right here, Oriana starts to get really really aggressive, and with a jungler like Twitch, you need to be able to see these kind of things because there, the level two uh, Twitch throws an attack on me, and then his poison just trolls me for a little bit. Um, so I decide to float to the side a little bit before I go B and then I said I really need to get um, more health pots because I'm only at 280 HP and I could get unlucky and she could dive me pretty hard. So um, it kind of sucks that I can't get tier on my first buy but you know you can't always have the most ideal conditions. So I get myself a sapphire crystal, I think I get two health pots, maybe three, um, and then a mana pot just so I can try and keep up the harass. And coming up here, um, after I do a bit more farming, uh, we actually, I actually try and trade with her just to kind of see where we stand. Um, but she kind of gets the uh, she gets the, her shield off, which takes the brunt of uh, a lot of my attacks. And I realized that I can't just full on trade with her, um, which you shouldn't with Rise. Um, little tip I have picked up with Rise is just spam your Q. It's got a super low cooldown, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But it has a pretty good range, so just Q and then back up, Q and then back up. In this game, I made the mistake of using my Q to farm a lot, which, um, if I was a mid champion, every time I would use my Q to, like, every time I was saw rising their Q to farm, I would just jump on him. Um, luckily, though, this did make her super aggressive, and uh, she walks in that bush, she finds an Alistar who just uh, jumps on her, and Twitch was super low health and decided to try and gank two, and then the GP ultimate just rips them to shreds because you know rat is terrible um let's see so just some more farming and uh, i think so basically this game like since i wasn't too good at rise um i get my finally get my tier which is like super amazing on rise like that's when you really start to kick in um this game was basically alistar jungle just wrecking and me kill stealing everything with my q um and so he comes to gank mid here in a second, I think. Yeah, so he's coming around here. So I'm kind of just trying to bait out this Oriana, throw a few couple skills on her. And I really want to get the kill here because she does have blue buff and I could use it. So I do have my ignite. So I decide, bam, here's the combo. He throws her back. I move forward, which is a good move because that way she has really nowhere to go. And she whiffs her ultimate, and I pick up a free blue buff. And so I'm just kind of pushing my wave here, and then I decide to go top after I push this wave. See if I can make anything happen, because bot was super pushed. 
But uh, then in Skype, GP says it's warded. Or no, wait, not in Skype. Uh, I walked in the bush and then Rise auto attacked the creep, so I knew it was warded. And um, so now we're just kind of farming a little bit. I've got blue buff, which is really nice. And we got some more bad Oriana here because she just doesn't ward and just gets camped hard because she doesn't ward and she plays super aggressive. If you're going to play super aggressive, then ward. However, they do pull off a pretty nice counter gank and rat with red buff is OP. So um, I'm just going to fast forward here. I pick up a, a catalyst here, some more health pots. Um, I really like to go tier catalyst because it gives you uh, pretty good survivability. Um, however, if you're having trouble with a strong AP mid, you can go the Negatron first. Um, however, the Catalyst will give you good sustain, um, give you free mana, and free damage on your uh, Q. Um, so, I think, yeah, Alistar's going top, so right now I'm just farming. Um, but then, uh, Alistar actually goes to check their blue buff and sees a Twitch, so I start running up because Orianna's gone. So she's probably heading up there, and he uh, actually hits Twitch out of the GP ultimate, but my Q secure there gets me a, gets me a kill. We throw down some damage on Oriana, she flashes away, but Alistar says, No way are you getting away, we are tower diving you. And I say, well I'm really greedy, so I'm going to Q secure this. A bam! <laughs> and so I get another uh, nice Q, Q secure there. And uh, I think I decided to go B here to go buy my Banshee's Fail. Um, because after that, basically, Oriana just won't be able to beat me because I'll have super good magic resist and I'll have that shield, which is really, really good. So I think I decided to sell, yeah, sell my health pot, buy the Banshee's Veil, and things are looking really, really good for me because I'm 5-1. and one. Um, My CS isn't that good. Uh, I don't really remember what it is. Sorry, I forgot to bring it up. But, uh... I do have a little bit of trouble last inning with Rise because when I first started playing Rise, he like his lazy auto attack animation was really really difficult for me. And plus, AP mids you know have lower attack damage, um, which is a little tip uh, I learned about Rise. I actually like taking three and AD in the if you're going anything in the offense mastery instead of the AP because the AP doesn't scale too well for him and the AD will help with a little bit of harass. And so right there, I flash in to try and save that Alistar because he was. Um, uh, he was diving, so I got the snare off, um, but I didn't get the snare off here on Aurelia, so she ends up flashing and killing the Alistar. Um, I know there's a lot of lol replay problems, um, like I, my lol replay lags and skips all the time and I have no idea why, I didn't used to. There's nothing wrong with my computer because like, I didn't have this problem before, so I don't know what the issue is. I'm hoping that the next uh, update on lol replay will, um, will fix this problem. And uh, so right here, I'm just farming a little more. And um, I think Oriana gets like super ballsy here. Yeah, she gets super ballsy to try and kill me because I'm low health, but then we get a double gank from uh, Blitzstar there, and uh, she just gets sat down. <laughs> so I just go, decided to go B, and I'm thinking... Well, I could pick up my Merc Treads, you know, or I could get Spellpen, really, but Merc Treads are really what you want on Rise, just because he's super tanky. And I said, no, I need more mana, so I'm going to get a Glacial Shroud, maybe another Health Pot. And, um, I think I might just go back to, oh, I grabbed Blue Buff here, so I'm just farming a little bit. And a uh, pretty funny clip coming up here in a second. So, after I farm for a little bit. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I come up here. I have my Banshee shield, okay? I see Twitch, so I decide, well, I'm six levels above, he's gonna blow you up. Bam! He doesn't blow, and then I just fail like a Shut freaking down. champion right there, but he doesn't blow my Banshee's veil with his expunge or anything, so the Ash arrow is what my shield blocks when he, like, he, I could have just taken a full, basically, Ash to be there. Um, but I failed the flash, so he got away anyway, and the Soraka heal actually saved him pretty hardcore. And so I go in, I get the Q kill secure on Oriana, and I'm running down here, try and check their blue buff. I go into the bush, and bam! Barely missed the Twitch. <laughs> um, and so, uh, I think this is the end of the video. Yeah, they surrender here. 
Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you guys, as always, stay classy and keep winning. Victory!